lips Tucking it, tumbling, standing I'm on my Gabby Somersault on the assaults Sticking my landings I'm rapping off of the vault Verbal gymnastics They want me, they cannot have it I'm doing backflips Grand rising beautiful people on yet another beautiful day. And today I wanna to speak to you from the headline of, this is not a call out, this is a call up. Now chosen ones, I just recently went to go speak with uh, kids that were at a youth detention center and it dawned on me, man, like as a community leader and as community spokespeople, we have to do better. And so uh, this is for people. I don't care what what platforms you have. I don't care how many followers you have. If you are not reaching back and sowing into the youth's life who need it, then what is the work that you're actually doing worth? Um, you know, I think about it because I spoke uh, for the first time and, and for the first time in my speaking career, there were people in the room who were from where I was from. And then a sense of pride came over me, but also a sense of sadness came over me too, because I realized like, first they hadn't seen someone like me, but second, man, imagine if they did earlier, right? Because we think um, on the way to success, we're just like thinking about ourselves primarily. What will this do for me? What will this do for my family? And yeah, that's important. You can't take care of nobody else until you take care of you. But as far as these communities, I've come across so many men, young black men that I've seen. And I'm like, yo, with a little bit of guidance, with a little bit of encouragement, with a little bit of someone watching over you, I know that you can be in a better place, make better decisions. But that comes with each one teach one. And back in the days when the Black Panther Party was around and organizations that really supported black community, men would step up to the plate and be like, yeah, I'm gonna foster you, young one. I'm gonna mentor you, I'm gonna train you, I'm gonna help you. Now, I'm not saying that the youth is all the way there either. Like, but as, as people who are advanced and older, it's our responsibility if they're not there, then to get them there. And so I told them, I said, yo, I said, I'm coming back for you guys. I'm going to come back and I'm going to check in. And I said, you need to have better news that you had for me than the last time. And it's like, again, it's not a call out because they already made the decisions that they had in the past and, and they can't change that right now. But what they can change is moving forward. And so what I'm asking you as a chosen one, don't forsake community work. Don't forsake that person, that mentor that teacher that you needed when you were younger, because it's never too late to turn a life around. And for me, seeing these young black men, cause I'm a dancer, you know, I don't know too many people from the hood who dance like that, like that. And I told them, I was like, yeah, I'm from the Southwest side of a Leaf, Texas. They said, dubs up. First time I ever heard it. And I was so happy. Like you can't even imagine. And when I shared my story and I said, I'm a dancer. And then I started doing ballet. They were like, yeah, you don't do that in a Leaf. But then the, the kicker, which was like the highlight of the evening, and it made my heart soar, is that they have been practicing for a talent show, unbeknownst to me, I didn't know. And they, they, they got up and then the sponsor was like, do you wanna see them perform their dance? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. Like, what, what are we talking about? And they got up and danced, but also to see you know, and I use this term, I am a professional dancer, but to see a pro, another black male who looked like them, encouraging them, saying, yeah, keep going. If that's what you want to do, you see it right now. And we from the same place. Oh, it was life changing. I don't even know if I impacted them more than they impacted me. But to see their smiles, to see that they knew it was OK to express themselves fully. It looked like something unlocked in each one of them. And, and subconsciously, it unlocked something in me to know that, like, wherever you arrive to, there's someone who wants to be where you are and they don't know how to get there. So each one, teach one.
I don't care how small it is. I don't care how small it starts. Once a week, go to the community center, center. Once a week, volunteer at the school next to you. Once a week, go to the prison unit. Because there's always that one sheet that's looking for a way out and you have the answer. If you're here watching this, I don't care about credentials. I don't care about uh, teaching certificates. I don't care about none of that. If you show up in the spirit of love and the spirit of God, you will. You hear me? In consistency. The spirit of love, spirit of God and consistency. You will create a positive change. You don't have to be a superhero. You just have to show up. Because they're waiting for someone to show up. I've seen it so many times. So that's all I'm saying. This is not a call out. This is a call up. Serve whatever community you belong to. Because there is a youth that really needs your work. And we all have to do this together. It's going to take all of us chosen ones. And to not say, to not to go after selfish ambition. And just what we can get out of life. But really choose this life to serve. What does it say? The son of man came to what? To serve, not to be served. You feel me? So yeah, um, comment, like, subscribe. Man, I would love to talk to you one-on-one. Let's book a session. JarrellRochelle at gmail.com. I'm going to keep it all the way funky. That was an experience like no other. So hopefully you'll be able to share your experiences with me. If you want to drop a prayer request, inbox me jarrellrochelle at gmail.com i'm here for you you know what i'm saying and i know you're gonna i know you're gonna do your volunteer community work and do you know why i know because this is morning coffee or afternoon coffee depending on where you're at holla at me Woo!